We have had so much fun with Cooking Table Week all week on PTL. In fact, I'm going to miss that graphic. I'm going to miss it too. <laughs> and today it's time to wrap it up with one of what we hear is perhaps the most popular party tables, the Italian peach cookie. Yeah, it's very impressive. It comes to us from a fun group, the Wedding Cookie Table Community on Facebook. The group now has more than 18,000 members worldwide. It was all started by a baker, a home baker in Manesson, Laura Magone, who wanted to share her love of baking cookies. Laura lined up local bakers for us every day this week to share the top cookies. We have enjoyed chocolate chips, pizzelles, or pizzelles, galettes, <laughs> iced sugar cookies, and lady locks. And today we are learning how to make the popular Italian peach cookies with our guest, Peg Lydig. Peg, thank you for being here. Absolutely. These My pleasure. These are so impressive. I have not seen these before. Thank you. I must not be going to the right weddings. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're actually time consuming, but they're very simple. And I'm going to show you how to construct one. Okay, okay. good. All You're right. a brave woman. I feel <laughs> like every single cookie we've featured this week has been almost too pretty to eat. I, it's and this, true. It goes and this, this goes along with that, yeah. Okay. So if you'll each take a plain half. And okay. what is this? What is the actual cookie made of? It's um, a regular uh, plain, like a sugar cookie almost. Okay. And uh, it's a has eggs in it, and it has milk in it, and the batter is smooth when you work with it. Okay. And that's what they come out of the oven looking like. Okay. So what I want you to each do is to scoop out, so that it looks sort of like this. Oh, okay. Oh, you want to scoop a ball into you... the bottom of it. Okay. That. So I'm, I'll use this, and then I'll give it to you. Okay. So David, you have a knife that. Oh, you can I, I use. use the knife. I live on the edge. <laughs> I don't, I don't need your scooper, you, Heather. You be careful over there. <laughs> Good for you. Okay, so that's about right or more? It's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. That's oh, what I like to hear. You're perfect. Now you can just set that back in. Okay. Did yours come out, David? Do you think that's All okay? Right. It's perfect too. Oh, oh good. Look at you. Perfect. <laughs> wow. He was good. a perfect cookie I icer too. I heard oh, that. Yeah. I was not so much. She was like, eh, you need some more. David, well, you are fantastic, <laughs> <laughs> which she hears quite often. You are, that is wonderful. Okay. okay. Oh, there oh we go. boy. All right. <laughs> All right, I got it. I got it, Peg. I'm okay. not falling behind. <laughs> that's good. Now, you'll each take a half that's hollowed. Okay. okay. You want to try to pick two that are like the same size. All oh, right. like a mate. Okay. Do, right. you, do you use something special to make sure that... No. Your cookies are measured out. You know, just no. I just pull it's like off a meatball. You know dough. how much. Okay, that's right. And then when you match them at the end, some of these are larger than others, and as long as you match them, they'll. Be okay. 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 So take a spatula. Mm -hmm. This is a filling, and the filling is made of the centers of the cookies and peach preserves. Oh, how nice! And then I just run that in a food processor. And it comes out smooth. Kind of comes out like a jam, almost. Right. And you want to spread that level okay. at the top of the hole. Spread it level. So yes. you don't want any excess on yes. the top. Yes, and you don't want an excess, just some. So on both, you right? Have both sides. Okay. We're doing good, I think, so far. Yes. So I can see why this can be time consuming because you have to make the cookies, let them uh -huh. cool, hollow out the middles, use the middles, fill them. <laughs> yeah, it is. And did I read you made 40,000 cookies for a wedding? I did. Wait, oh for one gosh. wedding? For one wedding. We made, uh, my husband and I were both retired wow. at that time and we just started to bake. And when we were finished, right in front of the wedding, we had 40,000 cookies. That is incredible. Wow. It was fun. That Everyone is so cool. that came to the wedding, <laughs> was entitled to or allocated 20 dozen. So one of the ladies that came to the wedding brought her Tupperware containers from Chicago. She yeah. flew them to Pittsburgh to wow. fill them to take them and home. And then, yeah, she probably had to ship them. It probably, yeah, wow. Okay, okay. so right, now what do we do next? Put them together. I'm, okay. I'm and give them a little this. twist so they'll kind of like stick a to twist, each other. Like mm -hmm. Got kissing. it? Okay. And okay. then you tip dip it. In the uh, light colored first, about okay. halfway. About halfway. Yes. And this is then, peach snops, you said? Yes, with food colorings. Okay. And okay. then rotate it and put it in the red. And this is why you need the gloves. That's right. Okay. And then okay. get your extra drips off by putting them on the. Uh, and they rest here. How long do you let them sit? Any length of time? Just roll it a little bit to get oh, okay. some of the extra drips off. So it's already absorbed okay. into the into the dough, into the cookie. Yes. Oh, look how okay. that, that is neat. Okay. okay. 
And then, you can see how kids could have fun with this oh, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. They like to get a little messy. All right, and then you put them in and roll them. So you want the sugar to be all over them. Oh, isn't it interesting? The sugar goes onto the cookie and the dye doesn't really go into the sugar. Well, it will a little. Oh, it will a little. But not okay. terribly. That's okay, because it's all the same. Yeah. You're using yeah, the same stuff. you're using the same stuff. There you go. I'm, and then you pick, you look at the coloring on the peach and you pick what you want to use for the top. Oh, I see. Okay. Because okay. you want to vary it a little bit on the tray and make it look different. Where do you find these little stems? Amazon. Oh. <laughs> I have everything. All right. Okay. Amazon has everything. Good job, okay. Patty. All right. Look how cute. Wait, how did you get? You just stick it oh, right in the middle. Okay, there I got it. That is oh, lovely. Oh, that is wonderful. There I did are. not think we were going to be able to make this, Peg. Absolutely. When I saw them this morning, I thought, there's, there's no, no way. way. And look, you guided us through. That is Thank beautiful. You. Are you going to taste them? We're yes, taste I think them. we yeah. should. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, that oh. is so good. That's delicious. <laughs> There you go. Oh, and you hey. made them. That's fantastic. I love all the sugar. So yes. impressive. Thank you for being yes. here. I Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you. More than that welcome. Was so much fun. Yeah. Well, thanks to Peg and all the bakers who joined us for Cookie Table Week on PTL. For a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. You'll also find a link to the Wedding Cookie Table community on Facebook for many other good recipes and tips for all the bakers out there.